Today, I'm cooking a delicious and simple braised bitter cod with pork shoulder. It is so delicious. My daughter didn't realize there was a bitter cod in it. This recipe is for 4 to 5 servings. The ingredients needed are 850 grams of pork shoulder cut into small rectangle pieces around 2 inches length. I kept some pork lard on the meat for extra flavor. 370 grams of bitter gourd cut into bite-sized pieces lengthwise, 70 grams of ginger strips, 70 grams of garlic crush, 3 tablespoons of cooking oil, 1 tablespoon of light soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of thick soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, 320 ml of water, half tablespoon of Saoxing wine or Chinese cooking rice wine, half teaspoon of sesame oil, 1 tablespoon of sugar, half teaspoon of pepper, and 2 tablespoons of salt. The full list of the ingredients and measurements are in the show more link. Start with the pork shoulder, put them in a large basin, sprinkle half tablespoon of salt, and quarter teaspoon of pepper. Marinate until they are incorporated. Leave it aside. Next, cook the meat. Heat the pan. Add in cooking oil and wait for about one and a half minute for the oil to heat up. Add in garlic and ginger. Stir to cook for one minute. Garlic and ginger does not need to be crispy and brown. After they have released their aroma, add in the pork shoulder. Stir and mix for 3 and a half minutes or until pork shoulder has changed color to gray and there is no more red color on them. Once the pork shoulder has changed color, add in seasonings, sesame oil, light soy sauce, oyster sauce, sugar, thick soy sauce, and Saoxing wine. Stir until all are well combined. Cover the wok. Reduce the heat to medium-low to simmer for 45 minutes. Oops! I forgot to add in the pepper when adding the seasoning. Open the lid, add in the pepper. Stir to mix. Cover the wok and continue to simmer for 40 minutes. From time to time, come back and stir to avoid burning at the bottom of the pan. Next, prepare the bitter cod. Put them all in a large basin, add in all the salt, and rub them for one and a half minute or until salt has dissolved. This is to reduce the bitterness from the bitter cod. Once the salt has dissolved, the bitter cod is a bit wet. Give it a wash. The first wash will always produce a lot of bubbles as it is washing off the salt and the bitterness. Rinse off the water and repeat for 5 to 6 times to ensure that all the salt has been washed away. After the sixth time, the water has less bubbles. This should be enough. Drain off the water and put it aside. Back to the pork shoulder in the pan. After 25 minutes, the gravy is getting dry. Add in 50 ml of water and stir to mix well. Cover the pan and continue to braise it. After 30 minutes, add in the bitter gourd. Stir and give it a mix. It is getting dry again. Add in 120 ml of water. Stir to mix until well combined. We are adding water bit by bit to minimize the amount of gravy while making sure that the food is tender. Looks like the water is not enough. Add in another 150 ml of water. Stir and mix. Raise the temperature to medium heat and set the time for 20 minutes. Cover the pan to continue braising it. In between, 
Stir to prevent burning at the bottom of the pan. After 20 minutes, let's check if the meat is soft and tender. Okay, it is very soft as I can easily poke through with the fork. Let's taste it as well. Oh wow, the meat is tender and very tasty. It is not bitter at all. Alright, it tastes good and the gravy is just enough. Switch off the heat and the braised bitter gourd with pork shoulder is done. Allow it to cool for 10 minutes before dishing out and serve. Let's eat! Yes, very delicious. The pork shoulder is very tender. The gravy is flavorful. The bitter gourd is soft and tender. It melts in the mouth as it is not bitter at all. It goes very well with white rice. Thank you for watching. Please like and share if you have enjoyed the video. This is Home Cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye-bye.